This is Grayson Grunaver with Sikkim365.com, and I have a really special guest in the studio today, the most recent uh, Baylor commit, Trey Emery out of Mount Pleasant High School, 2022 prospect, a defensive lineman. And uh, Trey, you're just coming off your official visit. Um, so I guess let's just start there. How did your official visit go? Man, it went good, man. I, I could feel the presence, you know, as soon as we got in Waco. I just, I don't know, it just felt like home already, like. It wasn't no question I want to be here. Yeah, man. I mean, it literally didn't even take 24 hours no. for you to make your decision. What? How, how did you just know the moment you got on campus? Well, uh, I had a meeting with Coach Johnson, you know, one-on-one -on -one meeting. We were talking about, you know, his history with players and everything. And he was showing me how he was going to use me. He, like, he showed me everything. And, and like, it, knew that it came to my mind. I looked at my mom. She already knew I had to look. And I was like, we, I'm committed. She thought I was playing because I play a lot. But <laughs> I was like, I'm committed. Like, I want to be here. And Coach Johnson, we just hugged and we were just hyped. But like, that moment right there, me and Coach Johnson really tight. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, every that moment, it, it made me, you know. It, it wasn't no question. Yeah, and that's DJ, right? Dennis Johnson? Yes, sir, Coach okay. Dennis Johnson. Yeah, so I, I guess what you mentioned, he talked to you about how he wants to use you. Yes, sir. How, how Can you explain that a little bit? He explained to me how, um, you know, if if it's God's blessing, if I enter the draft, you know, off of a successful career off Baylor, but how teams, you know, like, you know, how teams, most teams like versatile players, you know, in the draft, and they only select versatile players, and that'll help me in the future. You know, he told me I could slot in a four-hour, two-hour. Uh, he going to slide me everywhere, and, you know, wherever I'm successful at, I mean, that's where he going to put me at. And, like I said, I trust his ability, you know, just off his history to put me in a good situation. Okay, and then so Coach DJ, he was big in your recruitment. Yes, who, who are the other coaches that you would say had a huge role uh, in it? Uh, I would say Coach McGuire mm -hmm. and uh, Coach Coach Randall. Those yeah. are the other two that you know made me really lean this way. Okay, how how was it meeting with Coach Randall? I'm sure you had a couple conversations with him over the weekend. Uh, what what was his message to you? Man, he's a great he's a great guy and a good man. Um, his message, I mean, the thing I like about him, he's like a person, per, like he's a person, people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's a people yeah. person. And, you know, he's not all about football, you know. He just, you know, a good dude overall. He cares about character, you know. A lot of schools don't talk about that as much as he do. And that was, you know, it's not about on the field all the time. It's about off the field. And he's just a good guy. And I was like, you know, I want to be coached by him. Okay, so you made your decision really early, and mm -hmm. then and then kind of let, let's talk a little bit about what y'all were able to do and what you're able to see the next, I guess, day and a half that you're at Baylor. What what was the timeline like? The schedule, just kind of things you did after I committed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we actually we actually went to dinner. You know, I spoke to a couple of the players. You know, about mm -hmm. why I should come here. You know, the pros and the cons to yeah. Baylor and. And then after that, we went to eat dinner. You know, we ate about eight times a day. I ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, we ate dinner, you know. And we went back to the hotel. And then I went with my player host, uh, Josh Landry. He's a pretty cool dude. So I enjoyed the night with him. And then I think, I think uh, yesterday, uh, I, w I don't even remember. We woke up, ate dinner, and um, – I mean, ate breakfast, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ate breakfast, you know, bond with the coaches mm -hmm. again, you know, talk to them and really just had fun. We went to – um, we I ate up at the McLean Stadium. Yeah. You know, up there. The Baylor so, Club, yes, yeah. Sir. Very cool. And that was a good time. Then I went to my player house again, and I just went back to the hotel. Okay. Um, what was it like on campus? What you, would you think of the Baylor campus? Man, I, I love it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of walking on the tour, but I loved it overall. I mean, it was a good it was good people over there that can help me be successful. Mm -hmm. So I know your mom came with you on the visit. What were her thoughts on the trip? She loved it like I did, you know. Like I said, if she didn't, you know, I mean, she have a con about it, she'll tell me, but mm -hmm. I'll probably the first visit she didn't, like, have any cons about this college and 
I was like, well, I mean, that make my decision easier. You know, if my mama like it, then, you know, I'm coming. Yeah, so what about the other commits? And the other, I guess, not just commits, but the other guys on the visit. Were there were there guys that you have a good relationship with that you've kind of first, just now gotten to meet and things like that? How, how was uh, that interaction? Yeah, I actually didn't know not really none of them, the, the people that came. But as, I, as the business kept going, um, I, I bonded with some of the players. You know, they told me that was committed for a year. I'm like, dang, like, everybody <laughs> is this committed. Like, dang, I'm the only one. <laughs> And, uh, you know, just after that, after the visit, I'm like, dang, I see why they committed. And, like, it wasn't no question for me to commit, you know. I bonded with players, you know. They tell me where they from, just different stuff. Got their numbers, you know. Mm -hmm. So, cause, I mean, I don't, like, I'm coming to Baylor. It ain't no decommitment, none of that. Yeah. I'm home, like, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, so I was going to ask what's next. Like, are you going to go finish your officials or are you – Oh, no, I'm nah. done. Yeah, I'm done. done with that. Yeah, I, yeah we done traveling. I told my mom that yesterday. 100% yes, locked sir. in. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, hey, I, I really appreciate it. it. sounds like, I mean, overall, this was a home run visit, huh? Yes, sir, it was, man. It's it just crazy, you know, as a kid just growing up, wanting to go to Baylor, and it comes to reality, this is actually the place for me to be. So, you know, it's, I, it's a blessing. Yeah, I actually do need to ask a little bit about that because yes, I remember sir. when I first messaged you and you told me, uh, Baylor was kind of a dream school for you growing up because you yes, watched sir. them a lot and mm -hmm. like one of the most successful players at Mount Pleasant, Katie yes, Cannon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. What well, I mean, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. And it all came it all just came full circle. It's huh? crazy. I mean, you know, I was always, you know, one to say I mean everybody predicted I was going to Baylor. But I wasn't the one to say, I mean, just because my dream school don't mean it's the best for me. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, obviously, it turned half that way. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I remember watching Katie, you know, <laughs> growing up, high school. I, I, I was like, that was my role model. Like, I looked up to him as, me, as you know, as other kids did, too. But, you know, I watched him play at Baylor, man. It, it was crazy, you know, just seeing, like, he came from where I'm from. And mm -hmm. we both, you know, ended up going to Baylor. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it's just crazy. But, you know, it's crazy how God works, though, for real. Mm-hmm. Hey, Trey, thank you so much for coming by, man. Congrats on your commitment to Baylor, your official visit finishing up. And I know all Baylor fans are really excited to see you play yes, sir. Uh, here coming up soon, man. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm ready for y'all, too. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely.